grease. I mean, we're not talking bacon grease here. I might be from Southeast Texas, but I do know a little bit about the country grease. I love thinking about all the fruits and the vegetables that they grew there. Chief among them are figs, which happen to be one of my favorites. I'm gonna be using those in my presentation today. I love figs. I grew up eating fig preserves, laden with sugar, I might add, but I've learned to like them fresh. So you're gonna see these wonderful halves of figs that I've sliced open. I've sprinkled with just a little bit of sugar, and so they get rich with this nice little liquid in the center. All right, now we're going to use white chocolate indulgence today and whipped cream cheese. They went together so easily I could hardly believe it. I didn't even have to get my mixer out. So I just put them in a bowl, start them with my spoon. So it's a very easy process. Um, we're gonna put that on a phyllo pastry shell I made by using phyllo dough. In two layers, I used chopped walnuts and almonds, about three tablespoons between each of those two layers, a total of six tablespoons of the nuts. And I just took my little honey bear and I just drizzled those uh, nuts just in between those two layers. Then I put it between two pie plates and I baked it until it was this nice golden brown that you can see here. So we're gonna take our cream cheese and white chocolate indulgence. Oh, I have to tell you, nature has provided us with a lot of incredible ingredients, but Kraft Philadelphia cream cheese has done a number on these two products. And I might add a lot of different products that they're making. I mean, they've made our lives so easy in the kitchen. I mean, who couldn't be successful with any kind of Kraft Philadelphia cream cheese product? So it's going to be absolutely a wonderful base for these natural figs. And they're just going to be sitting up there in all their wonderful richness. And I just can't even wait to, to try this. And I can't wait for you to try it because you're not even gonna believe how incredible it is. So it's gonna be a simple process. We're just gonna place our figs, nestle them right in that fabulous cream cheese, whipped cream cheese and white chocolate indulgence. I'm gonna place them around very simply and very easily. This is a nice, easy do-ahead project on those hot summer afternoons, so just be aware that it's very quick. We're going to sprinkle this with some nuts, some more chopped nuts. Alrighty, then we're going to put a, a nice little, uh, Walnut half that I've toasted in the middle of each one. It's very simple. I love simple projects. I hope you do too. So I'm gonna put that like that. Now we're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of feta cheese. Uh, feta obviously is known the Greek world over. Nice little crumbly topping there. You can use some mazithra cheese. It was a little difficult to find. It's a little saltier. If you like that salt influence, use that. But I was thinking about the figs in that region of the world. You know, we've traveled to Italy, we've traveled to France, but the fig is, has been there hundreds and thousands and thousands of years. They used it in fig cakes to um, preserve for the times when they didn't have foods uh, to eat. And so they had that uh, just right on hand. So we're going to take a nice little slice of this now and see what this tastes like. So isn't that a beautiful, beautiful presentation? Just look how gorgeous that is to all together. So let's get a taste. You cut it just like a little pie and nothing like a little nice Greek afternoon with your friends and just get your hands in. Let's take a bite. Mmm, mmm. Unbelievable. If the phyllo dough gets on your last nerve, and it can sometimes because it's very difficult to work with, you can use puff pastry. I've used two sheets of puff pastry. I've put butter, brushed it with butter, put the nuts, a little drizzle of honey, put another on top. I did prick the top of the puff pastry so it wouldn't puff so much. It will puff a little bit, but it's gonna go back down. And you can bake that as a little quicker process than uh, the phyllo pastry dough. So now, this is a creation called Greek Figgy Pie. 